is up, everybody? It's Sensei322 with BustingPacks.com here with a box break review of 2011 Topps Finest Football. Uh, there are six packs per mini box, two mini boxes per master box, and five cards per pack. There's a nice little picture of Cam Newton. The most impressive thing so far of Topps Finest has been, uh, I'd have to say, the popularity on the secondary market for some of the more high-end cards. The uh, refractor parallels of the jumbo jersey swatch autographs have been selling extraordinarily well. And the super fractor autos, which uh, feature um, on-card autos, have been, well, on-card autos or embedded autos for the, actually uh, embedded autos for the patch. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm thinking Topps Platinum. But uh, they've got an embedded autograph, a ridiculous patch. The Cam Newton one is um, still at auction right now, but it's getting close to $3,000 for that one of one. So in an early product to have that much resale value on the secondary market, that's pretty much unheard of in football. So I think uh, Cam Newton's 400-plus yard uh, inaugural game might have something to do with that, but ooh, ooh, first card is an exciting one for me. I'm a Christian Ponder fan, so there is a rookie die cut. <clears throat> Let's see if you can see that. Base cards look nice. They got kind of like the, uh, looks like perforations all over the card, but it's not perforated. Those aren't actually three-dimensional or anything. Nice little feel to it. So boxes, as always, can be hit or miss. There's a refractor of Ray Rice. But um, the potential for a big hit is unlike a lot of products out there. Here we've got a Darren McFadden X-Fractor out of 399 This is a thick one. There's my autograph patch. Holy cow, right away. Niles Paul, beautiful two-color patch, 67 out of 75 that's the other nice thing. Uh, they seem to have a lot of nice patches in this. Tops has gone out of their way to produce high-end, multicolored patches. And um, as we're going to see in Tops Platinum, a lot of on-card autographs. So, neat products. Here's a Thomas Jones Finest. That's what that's going to be. Frank Gore, Reggie Wayne, Aaron Rodgers, Thomas Jones Finest. Powell rookie card right there. Last pack from this mini box. Pierre Garcon, X Fractor out of 399. Des Bryant. Alright, that's that for that mini box. Here's the next one. So we're supposed to get uh, Let's see, we're supposed to get a uh, rookie autograph patch card. Let me remind us where we're supposed to get. Each mini box contains a numbered autograph jumbo relic or an autograph rookie patch. So each mini box basically guarantees you a memorabilia autograph, which is nice. There's going to be a Laguerre Blunt, boom, right there. I am hoping for a... I might have already gotten my low numbered one, but uh, this is the second box I've busted. Not sure how many of you guys uh, followed the box break duel where I gave away a spot in a box break duel. That's a one on one competition against me. Oh, sweet! Cam Newton X Fractor rookie card. I don't know. Let me see what kind of condition that's in. It is. Christine, that sucker's going to BGS. All right, cool. Very cool. Okay, I set that aside for a sleeve. There's a nice Von Miller. He seems to be a beast and a half. Anyway, uh, this one seems thicker than... Actually, all, the, all three of these feel pretty thick. 
So in that box, that was the first box of finest I opened. It wasn't spectacular. Ooh, Randall Cobb, rookie card refractor. Randall Cobb probably had the second best week out of rookies, aside from Cameron Newton. So Jamie Harper, two packs left. Let's see which one's going to have the autograph. This one's got a thick card, so or a semi-thick card, so I'm guessing that's going to be it. We'll save that for last. Oh, by the way, the Super Fractors are selling for insane money. I'm excited about this card. I thought it could be a Super Fractor. It is not, but it is numbered 5 out of 10. Reggie Wayne, 5 out of 10, Refractor. Beautiful card. The Super Fractors, even in finest, are absolutely selling for so much money. Even the non-autograph version. So here comes my autograph. It looks blue and red. Let's take some guesses. What do you think it's going to be? Blue and red, I'm guessing Patriots. If it's Patriots, the rookie is either going to be Ryan Mallett or Steven Ridley. I don't have the kind of luck to get a Ryan Mallett, so I'm going to say Steven Ridley. Oh, Jamie Harper. Even worse. I'm just kidding. Titans running back. Jamie Harper, you know what? Look at this design. These cards have been selling well because it's a really nice design. A jumbo piece of jersey swatch is, is just nicer than a little piece. Embedded autograph, so it's not just a sticker on top. Clean design, big picture of the player. Uh, just a really nice job Topps did with these. And you compare that with the patch autograph. Okay, I'm not a fan of the guy in his combine gear, but aside from him being in his combine gear, holy crap, his arms are huge, by the way. Uh, it is a really nice design. Small, you know, small patch window, kind of at an angle, big picture of the player. Um, the sticker doesn't even look terrible on them. So Topps did a nice job with these. I think it's a good-looking product. And even if you don't pull a massive rookie auto, you could pull some nice uh, refractors, low-numbered, X-fractor rookies, and all of those are selling well, at least for the first couple weeks to a month after a product is released. But there are a lot of people that put together the refractor sets and X-fractor sets. So there you have it. Uh, go to www.bustingpacks.com for the full review and for your chance to win the cards in this video. Um, and also, please don't forget to subscribe and like the videos. Uh, that helps out a lot. So thanks so much, and keep coming back to bustingpacks.com.